all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow and we're going to talk about a stock that has been bought by arc invest since the 27th till now we're going to look at how much value it grew in their portfolio and also go over some things here that we're seeing in the chart i mean i did a chart analysis already on nano dimensions so we have the resistance and the support there i'm looking at the chart and when you look at it overall it has been working its way up some great news today came out that there was also about i think it was 10 let's look that up i want to actually get that to the point i think it was 10 or 9 customers that actually have switched their um total uh machines right they went ahead and changed their machines so let's see here it shows here nano dimensions reports 10 customers there we go 10 customers upgrade their machines to the dragonfly ldm lights out digital manufacturing so that's a good sign they're already getting orders and this whole new system is pretty awesome i mean if you guys want to read more on this article it is one of the top headlines today if you just look up nano stock it's going to be written in the nasdaq area and it was published today at 9 a.m so this right here is great news the fact that orders are happening this is a legit company there is a real product and there are customers right that's a really good sign now 10 customers upgrading their machines to the dragonfly is just the beginning of nano dimensions orders for this new innovation and product and it's pretty awesome because people don't have to be present and it can continue doing its 3d printing so this was great news and i mean when you look at the chart overall i mean it's just kind of doing the opposite of what great news does but we're going to jump into all of this in just a moment and we're going to watch some things and i want to talk about arc invest and what they have been doing in the last week so before we jump into this chart i want to announce to all viewers and investors about my website investfortomorrow.com i'm going to put the link down below for you guys to check it out and i highly encourage you guys to come see the intro video that gives you a little bit of more background and insight on the purpose of this website and what the true goal is there is a few forums and we're going to have a stock picks forum with weekly and monthly stock picks daily watch list and the gathering of investors where all members can come together ask questions share knowledge and their experiences or any valid news that anyone might want to know about or have missed out on or overlooked you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and share that and then there is one forum that's a little bit different than stocks and it's called how to manage the intangible which we're going to talk about credit credit score what entails and what builds a credit score and how to better manage it and have better habits and tips and tricks for that and there's going to be more forums than just about credit this is going to be a further extension from stocks in the invest for tomorrow website where you can learn and grow uh, your knowledge in other areas of investing and finance there are two options of member options you have to choose one of them to gain access to the forums read down below which ones give you access to what and this is all optional I just wanted to announce it and let you guys know i just launched it this week and in two weeks from now i will start posting and the website will start to further develop itself over time i look forward to building a community of investors there that are going to maintain their integrity and honesty so that we can all learn and grow together and by doing so we all grow our portfolios as well and we make some money but it's optional nothing's changing here on youtube and we have a great community here on youtube as well this is just for the investor that wants to get additional information and learn and grow in other areas of investing so let's look here so as i see here from the most recent support level that i used it broke through it all right this is what i posted a few hours ago and now it hit a newer low here of around 680 we need to watch this closely so great news 10 customers already upgraded to the new dragonfly what is going on right that's what everyone's asking themselves and so forth something i noticed is as of the 27th of november 
nano dimensions in that one week, which was last week, if we go back to it, it was this week right here, the week before, from the 23rd to the 27th, nano dimensions before was in 29th place, right? And Amazon has nothing to do with the placement, but Amazon.com ends up landing there. What I'm trying to point out is it was in 29th and it became 23rd. The way this ranks is not just by the volume of shares that they own, but the value of the shares. And that's how you start ranking. I stated last week when I did this video that Nano Dimensions easily was going to get, you know, into the 22nd, maybe the 20th, 21st position. Well, if we look here and we see it landed in 20th and pretty cool stuff is looking at this overall, how these positions grew, right? If you look at almost all of them in this section, I mean, some of them probably switched positions in location, but just look at, let's say, for example, uh, Splunk and... Let's look here at uh, KMTUY. Let's look at these three right here together, right? And let's look at it over here. So KMTUY, it went to 26. And the other one as well went here and it's at 20. So when we look at the whole thing together, collectively, Splunk went down a little bit. And this one, which was 21st, went up a bit. It went up about 2 million. It went from 24 to 26. And obviously Splunk went down a little bit. So it's cool how this all balances itself out or how it turns out or if they sold some or kept some. But the most interesting thing here is Nano Dimensions, right? It moved from 23rd to 20th, but all the way from 29th to this point. It went up in value. It's at 26 million, almost 27 million in value. And when we look at it previously, it was at 22. And... The amount of shares changed. That was from the 27th. And here we are as of yesterday. And it was already up 200,000 more shares. So Nano Dimensions bought from last week, right? Last week, the 27th was Friday. To this day, we don't have the 20, you know, the 4th exactly, but we have up to the 3rd. And I'm not sure if it changed by much. But as of yesterday, it went up by 200,000 in one week. And it went up in value almost four to five million in one week. And the weight changed. It was 2.32. And here we are at 2%. So the weight just continues to grow on the portfolio. They continue to grow. So if Nano hasn't sold and their positions are just getting larger and the value is getting larger, right? And I said Nano, I meant ARC. Arc has not sold Nano and the position keeps on getting larger and the value keeps getting larger. Then this slight pullback here is just slight profit taking. Maybe other institutions or get a lot of investors have made that decision because of the uncertainty. And I talked about it in my previous video. When you look at Nano Dimensions and you go all the way back to the beginning of the year, right? all the way back to the beginning of this year. And you could see the beginning of 2020 it was at $1 and some change. And you go all the way back to about this point here in 2018. And then you go back to where it was kind of at right now, which is around this, this point in time, right here, the beginning of 2019. We haven't seen these numbers this high since the beginning of 2019. And the beginning of this year, it was up there at around two, three dollars, and that was the highest it's ever seen. This is the highest that Nano Dimensions has gone in almost a year and a half, and in the last year or two. So, uncertainty, yes. I wouldn't say fear because right now there's nothing negative, like largely negative, about the company just yet that I know of, right? Or that I've seen in any news. If anybody has. Any information they want to share, you guys are more than welcome to down below. But right now, it's just uncertainty. It's like, this is the highest I've seen Nano in a long time. Let me go ahead and cash out my unrealized profit. Remember, unrealized profit is what you see on the screen. 
And if you don't execute an order to sell, you won't take those profits. Those profits can either disappear and dissipate or it can continue to grow. So many investors are probably with the uncertainty of how much higher could this really go? It almost hit $8 at 797 and it got rejected. And if you look up a lot of the analysis and target prices in the recent uh, runs and the closest it was going to get, it was saying, right, that it was going to reach almost $8. Now, when you look at the analysis here based off of TradingView, a lot of them are saying buy and strong buy based off of a lot of different indicators. And the only one that says sell right now is the oscillators. And that's one of them but there's two here saying buy and when you put the one day saying a strong buy when you put the one month it's saying a buy and then this is turning neutral so right now it's still in a buy position and if you look up what you do your due diligence and research you will see that nano dimensions is saying it's a buy in many different locations and a lot of the target prices are around you know eight dollars to ten dollars and then the lower end is saying you know somewhere around four to six dollars well right now we're at 692 and the lowest point reach is 680 we're going to have to watch this closely but i believe this is more of like just confirming their profits rather than just looking at it but what is interesting is nano dimensions is still holding now i want to go ahead and see one and four today this is as of the third they haven't updated this I need to see closely because if this change by a little bit or even by a hundred thousand or even by a certain amount less than they sold and that right there will tell us some more information on what's going on on the chart here but we're gonna have to watch this closely like I've been saying the volume wasn't too high as it usually was it was in the 32 millions usually this was up you know 50 plus but like i said this is probably just profit taking uncertainty because of how high it is but no real true fear but if this continues that is going to be a big indicator i found that interesting and i wanted to share how arc invest nano dimension switched from 29 to 23rd place last week and how we went from 3.3 million and 22 million in value to 3.5 million and 26 almost 27 in value and the weight went up as well from two percent to 2.32 percent so we're gonna have to watch this see what's going on and if arc invest is gonna buy any more positions now with this slight pullback at the beginning of next week because that's gonna be a big indicator of how much they believe in nano dimensions or did they sell any shares as this played out if i see an updated one because this is as of the third and we're on the fourth so i will update you guys on that i look forward to seeing your guys's comments down below and what you guys think or if you guys believe this is going to hit eight dollars or that ten dollar mark price target thank you guys so much for watching if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell and share this with your friends on and community and don't forget to click on the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.